Brisbane, uh, what are you here for, first of all? I'm up here for, I'm up here for training and um, to get my mind, you know, sort of focused and, and my body in the right shape to um, to endure that it needs to endure for, ne for next month's big fight on the 23rd. Tell us about Mosley, what you, you're expecting from him. I mean, this is going to be a big fight. Now. Yeah, massive fight, man. Um, you know, I'm, trying to take, I'm going to try and take it to him, Curry style, you know, and let him know what, what we can do. And um, with our hands as well, um, he's going to be—he's very explosive, probably dangerous for the first three, four rounds. But I'm confident if I can get past, you know, get through them stages, then I can take him to deep water and and, and hurt him later on in the fight. Uh, different training regime for <coughs> going up against Mosley compared to all the other boxes you've done in the past. Um, not really. I mean, I I work hard. Obviously, you you have specifics for you know certain fighters, and you work to what's going to benefit you in, in the fight and obviously you have a game plan um, and you know you might have two or three you know you'll have a backup game plan and chase that one day and work so um, but I also, I also want to try and stay long early stay long early and use my speed utilize my speed use a lot of my strength and size later on in the fight do you do homework on, on people like Mosley I mean do you really try and get the, <coughs> you know, the nuts and bolts of what kind of fighter he is yeah well you know, he's a bit of a legend. I mean, he's a living legend, Sugar Shane. You know, he's a household name. He's been champion three, four, three, four, four divisions, and uh, you know, everything he does, everything pretty good. You know, I mean, he's very, you know, he's very dangerous early, very explosive. Got a got a mean right hand, got a mean left hook, and um, you know, I ought to keep my hands up, make sure my defense is tight and impregnable, so you know he can't tag me, and um, you know. When I'm on my game, when I'm seriously mentally switched on, there ain't too many fighters that can beat me. It feels like it's been a long time since we've seen you in the ring. I mean, what have you been doing to try and keep your fitness and all that sort of stuff? I mean, well, I always, I always keep in shape. You know, I always keep in shape and make sure my body and mind's always um, on point. But uh, you know, I only want the biggest fights out there. I only want the biggest fights. That's why it took so long to make. Um, I wasn't going to fight any fringe contenders or any, even any contenders anymore. I wanted to fight the best. And that's why this, this fight took so long. This will be probably 10 months since I've, since, once I've fired, it will be probably about 10 months since I fought. And the reason why it took so long, because I only want the best fighters out there, and it takes time to get these fighters. But now that I've got mostly, if I can beat him, God willing, opportunities will open up. Those opportunities, uh, there's been reports that possibly Mayweather is somebody you want down the track, is, or is that just rumours? That no, that's what I want. I mean, that's my goal. That's my. That's probably everybody's, you know, in the boxing game around that weight. Weight goal is to fight the very, very best of our era, the very best of our, um, of the modern era. So, and he's the best, you know. I'm not saying, you know. I believe a lot of people may think I'm crazy. Um, but I believe I'll, I'll contest him. I'll give him a good run, and, and, and a lot better run than what he's been getting lately. And um, I just need an opportunity, and Sugar Shane presents that, you know, to, to put me in the mix. I could, but I'm not. I don't want to. I don't want to just fight Sugar Shane and then say, yeah, I deserve it. I want to get me through. Put me through another one. Put me through Miguel Cotto. Or put me through the Alvarez, who who maybe they just beat. Put me through another test. And then if I come through with a couple of tests, a couple of hard tests, then I'm deserve deserve it. So, so that's my goal. And the knockers, mate. What about the, the people, the media? It seems like they got an agenda about you know how they see, receive Anthony Mundine. Yeah, you know what? I don't pay them no mind. You know, I don't pay them no attention because they don't they don't want to try and bring you down. You know what I mean? And I, I I'm just trying to be positive and and go in that direction. The positive the positive positivity. And as uh, long as I've got that, it doesn't matter what they think, it's what I think and what I, can, I believe I can do because at the end of the day it's only me in that ring. Yeah, the boxer, the apparel, it's, uh, how's that going for you? Yeah, I just, uh, just launched my, my new brand which is Boxer. Um, so it's mainly equipment at the moment, equipment and, and a little bit of clothing. Um, but it's going to expand. But it's doing good, man. Um, you can check it out on boxer.com.au. Go get all your gears. It's, it's affordable, but it's the best quality gear as well. You know, we are, we we rely on you know comfort and style, and that's what it's about. Um, you know, making sure you you feel good when you uh, 
when you put on the pads and, and the gloves.